Hello everybody. Um, here talking about the beginning of chapter four. So we want to just remember back, way back, to the beginning of the school year, we talked about functions. Well actually the beginning of chapter two. Um, we talked about functions and algebra two is the study of functions. Functions are special kinds of relations. So my analogy that we talked about a lot in school is that relations are like animals. Functions are like mammals. So functions are a special kind of relation. Um, we've already talked about linears. We talked about linear functions. Those are straight lines. Those would be, you know, I just call them zebras, but um, those would be a specific kind of mammal. So we got kind of the big thing of animals. Then we've got specific, a specific large group called mammals. And then we get into specific kinds of animals after that. So it's, and it's the same thing with math. We have relations, then we have functions, and we have specific kinds of functions. So, so what we're doing in chapter four is we're actually learning a new one called quadratics. So uh, here I made a picture of it too. Relations are the big circle. There's lots, there's bajillion millions of those. Functions are the same thing. There's a lot of those, but they're special kind of relations. All functions are relations. Not all relations are functions. So that's how it works. We've already talked about linears. That was chapter two. Again, those are the straight lines. Those are with an x with a one power. Now we're going to talk about quadratics. I'll get to that after this on the next board about what those are. I left a bunch of blanks because throughout the rest of the year we're still going to add on to this. There's still tons of different kinds of functions that we've never even seen. We don't even know what they look like. We don't know anything about them. So um, that'll be really exciting when we kind of run into those, see those out in the math world. Um, we go on our math safaris. Um, so you might be asking yourself, what is a quadratic? Um, a quadratic is a function with an x squared. So just like a linear is a function with an x with a 1, a quadratic is a function with an x squared. What they look like are U shapes. So they can be used pointed up, they can be used pointed down, they can be very skinny U's, they can be very wide U's, but they're U shaped. That's the general idea. Just like if you saw a zebra, you know what it looked like because it has stripes. It's the same thing with this. We're looking for U shapes when we do quadratics. An example of writing it out as an equation, this is an example of it because it has an x squared as the highest power. It doesn't matter if there's an x or a, a, a regular number, but we want x squared to be the highest power. This is another example, even if it has a negative, even if there's a fraction in it in the front without an x on it, this is still a quadratic function because we have an x squared power as our largest power. Some non-examples would be like this one. This has an x with a 3 on it. An x with a 3 is a different kind of function we'll see in chapter 5, Ooh, exciting, <laughs> um, or that, but that's, that's a different function, not an x squared. Even though it has an x squared, it's not the highest power, so that's not a, a quadratic. This bottom one has an x squared, oh, it must be a quadratic. It's not. It's in a fraction bar. Again, we will see these later. These are called rational functions when they have fractions, and then these are called cubic functions when they have a third power. So we'll see those later, but they're not, those aren't, those aren't classified as quadratics because they don't have an x squared as the highest power. 